Don't let the wrong bracket ruin your day. So we get asked all the time, how do I tell which accessory bracket is the right one for my application? So this is simple. You would just start with the constraints of the vehicle that you're putting the brackets in. So let's say in this example, you're running a 1986 Chevy C10, a little square body. So on this truck, there's tons of room in front of the engine. So you have dash one, which is Corvette, dash two, LS1 Camaro, dash three is truck accessories, which move it the accessories furthest from the front of the engine. On our bracket quick find guide, if you look at the crank pulley, you'll see the dash numbers available for that bracket. Those are the options available for that particular bracket part number, which is located right above the engine. There's the part number right there. Once you know the vehicle that you're going in, this is gonna determine what brackets can be next to the engine on the right and left side of it, passenger driver side. So then we need to know the vehicle's purpose. So if this is a drag race application, typically you might have a belt drive fuel pump or even a remote water pump. That's gonna change how the accessories fit on the front of the block and which ones you're gonna use. Uh, if it's just gonna be a cruiser like the setup we're doing here. This one, we would just use the vehicle's factory power steering pump, which will retain the feel that you would have on your steering wheel from the factory. Ideally, you're gonna keep those. It just makes us simpler and not change the pressure and the feel of your steering. So if you see the guide here, we have the power steering pump down low, alternator right above it. These will be our bracket part numbers that we're gonna use for the alt power steering. And then for the AC, pick that one out. That'll be the part number, pair those two together. And now you have the correct bracket for your application. To find your perfect bracket for your application, go to ictbillet.com and then go under the swap guides and look at LS Bracket Finder Guide to see what all is available for your application. That way you get it right the first time, every time.